These are devotions for people at a social distance. For several years now, it has been my, uh, my habit, my weekly habit to go running uh, twice a week. And I have continued to do that during this uh, time of pandemic. It was a little bit hard to run out of doors in the early cool weather. I'm glad that it's warming up now and it's a little bit easier. Um, and in some ways that running, uh, you know, generally, of course, keeping my health up seems like a good idea, but uh, running has take on a, taken on a bit of a, a different sense, a different meaning for me, knowing uh, that one of the early signs of uh, the pandemic of, of COVID-19 is shortness of breath and that sometimes, uh, in fact, some people who, who get this sickness uh, don't realize that their their oxygen level in their blood is is low. It's it's a rather puzzling thing for doctors, but that seems to be what happens. And so people actually don't quite realize that they are short of breath, uh, which I don't necessarily understand, or maybe I'm not even explaining this right. But nevertheless, it's an idea that's permeated my head. Now, of course, whenever I go running. Uh, when you first start running, you know, that first uh, half kilometer, f first kilometer, you naturally, of course, feel shortness of breath. As you keep going beyond that, it gets a little bit easier to breathe. But at first, yeah, that shortness of breath is a natural effect of running. And so I always sort of wonder, you know, when I start running and, and naturally start to feel short of breath, oh, is this more shortness of breath uh, than I am used to? And and. I sort of found, I, I found a little bit of a pattern that, that I sort of question myself about that. I wonder about that uh, until I come uh, to the end of that first kilometer, at which point my phone through my earphone tells me how fast I ran that first kilometer. And, and of course, what I've found again and again is, oh, well, I am running that first kilometer at the usual speed. I'm not going slower. Uh, and so obviously um, I must be breathing at, a, at a, the usual rate. I must be getting the oxygen that I need and then I'm able to run on. And, and I, of course it naturally gets easier, but I think my, my worries are also calmed after that first kilometer. Just a, a bit of a pattern that I have noticed. And just that's just one indication of me of, of one of the, the, the daily things that I look for for comfort is is simply breathing, taking air into your into your lungs and and getting that that air you need just to survive. And I was thinking about that today. It it took me to this passage, of course, famous passage in Genesis chapter two, verse seven. Then the Lord God formed man from the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became. A living being and of course we've always known the the connection between breathing and staying alive it's kind of obvious it was obviously obvious to the ancient the ancient people of israel um, but the way they un, they explained that and understood that was that the thing that made us alive was not simply being able to breathe but it was actually the the air of god coming into us that, that, you know, every time you take ear, air into your lungs, it's like you are bringing the life of God into you. And that is essential to our life. And I was thinking about that today. I was reflecting on that this morning. And it, it was a powerful reminder to me. You know, sometimes I wonder, I will admit that I wonder, where is God with all of this going on? We're kind of lost. We're, we're not sure what's happening here. We're not sure how we're going to get out of this really serious uh, issue we are in. Where's God? Uh, why isn't God with us? Well, every breath you take, every breath you take, and, and this is something that is more clear now than ever before, is an affirmation that God is with you every breath you take into your lungs. And those who suffer from this sickness, every little breath that you are able to draw, it's God coming into you. God is with you. God will remain with you. God is not far distant from us. 
in a day of social distance, God is closer to us than your next breath. I hope you might find some comfort in that. Thank you, God, that you are there in every breath. Thank you for that assurance of your presence. Amen.